Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Fleming. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy. Want to make this quick video for you on this awesome 2021 Forest River 16 FQ, uh, the Wolf Pup. I just want to show you our MSRP sheet. As you can see, this whole thing is full of options that we have on this unit. Our MSRP is $25,719. Of course, we do have a much better price for you. I wanted to show you exactly what the Wolf Pup offers. I know you're looking at a Springdale, but Cherokee, the entire brand, is number one retailing travel trailer in America for a reason so I'm gonna go through and show you exactly what we have on this one here of course with our pricing we do not have any hidden freight or make ready charges so I have to count for as tax title and license of course as we discussed it does have the Murphy bed up front I will show you how that works here shortly coming over here to the left we do have a full kitchen it's got everything that you need and of course ours does have the juice pack a 50 watt panel from the factory and a pre-installed battery so you can run all your 12 volt system so on a day like today when it's nice and cool outside you could be off the grid comfortably here and have access to all the lights the uh awning the radio and the refrigerator so first up i know you said mr fleming this uh murphy bed is important to you so i'm just going to show you how easy it is to operate this thing here so here we have the jackknife sofa you got two cushions on this side freeze i'm just going to throw these here out of the way we also have our comforter here that is included all you got to do is grab the bottom you do have a bit of storage there underneath as well which is great this will lay flat just like that grab the mattress and it folds out just like so now traditionally on the older wolf pups the beds went east west so you had to crawl over each other then they got smart and did the bed north south but then they got even smarter listening to customer feedback and made it a Murphy bed. That way you have two seating areas during the day. You also have a ward here on this side for hanging clothes as well as the other side. Let me go ahead and uh, bring it here a little bit closer. So we can see inside the wards just like the other one. We also have the overhead storage here. And what's really great is you have a small nightstand, regular power connections and USBs on this side. This is ready for a uh, drive Bluetooth speaker. That's the dock for it. You can purchase one online if you like, but it does have two USB ports and regular outlets. Of course, coming here, we have a window that will open for cross ventilation. It does have the juice pack, as I said. Now this is your voltage meter, so it shows you exactly where you're at. This RV is also ready for a 4G hotspot. Now, a lot of RVs say they're ready for Wi-Fi, but all that is is a range booster that depends on existing internet. With this, you can go to store.lci1.com, purchase a box, docky here, pay the data subscription just like a cell phone, or you can have 4G no matter where you are, as long as the provider has cell phone signal at your location. Here we have overhead storage. Here we have a lot of counter space, you know, especially for a 16-footer residential style faucet. You know, frankly, a lot of RVs in this size and price point have cheesy sinks and faucets, but not ours. We have a stainless steel undermount. Of course, sanitation is more important now than ever. It drives me crazy seeing plastic in RVs, but with this one, you're going to have stainless. We also have a hand sanitizing station here as well, as we are here in uh, 2020. We do also have a glass insert. A lot of more affordable campers, you know, your uh, cooked uh, burners are sitting right on top of the counter, but this one is recessed, gives you more counter space. And we have blue lights here in the knobs as well, which is really great. We have a residential power microwave, it'll very quickly and evenly heat food. Now, something that's really important, our range hood is a new design. It's slimmed down, so it gives you more counter space or more workspace rather. We have LED lights, much brighter, it lasts lot, uh, a lot longer. Also, the range hood actually works. It will vent outside, it just takes a second to spool up here. So when you're cooking, everything will vent out there. Another highlight of this camper is that we have a 10 cubic foot all electric refrigerator. It's actually on right now just with solar power. Now this is hardwired to the solar, so it constantly pulls off of your battery. But if you're hooked up to shore power uh, or your vehicle seven way plug, if you have a direct line charge, it will keep it topped off as well as the solar. Here we are in the bathroom. I'm a huge fan of rear bathrooms. I think they have the best layout overall, especially when you're in a 16 foot camper. So you have a full bathroom here, not a wet bath. We have a great size shower. And another important thing, ours has a tub surround. Most campers are just gonna have paneling. This will protect your RV from moisture uh, versus just having the paneling. So that can be a few hundred dollars to add on others. We also have an exhaust fan here. 
If you're out on the beach or something like that, when it gets a little bit warmer during the day, you can have the windows open, have the fan on, and this will run on solar. That way you can get cross ventilation going. Just like that. We also have a foot flush toilet. This one's a Thetford, much preferred over other brands. We also have a mirror here, ton of counter space, grounded power connections for blow dryer trimmer, whatever you need. Storage underneath here. There we go. And that's about it for the bathroom. Let me just give you a wide angle view from here so you can see. There we go. We have the dinette here. Now this will convert into a bed if uh, you wanna sleep someone else. Just gonna get these out of the way here. It's very easy. All you have to do is pop the top off, remove the legs, and you can set it down on the platform here and bring the cushions in. I've also had customers uh, take this table and bring it outside as well, which is great. Just a little bit more space efficiency. And also underneath here, we have storage as well. So just really, really efficient use of space here in the 16 foot camper. And that's box length, by the way. Here's where your television goes. We do include a mount. Uh, this is pretty much universal. It's a Visa 100 by 100. If you want a larger television, you can get an adapter, uh, a metal plate. But if you use the one that's standard for anywhere from probably a 19 up to maybe a 32 inch, um, you can just slide this off and bring it outside. Here we have the connections for the television. We have two power connections. This does have a built-in range booster. It's a uh, basically a white disc, so you don't have to really worry about messing with it, adjusting it like on older campers. If this green light is on, your range booster's on. If it's off, you're relying on uh, built-in entertainment here. Uh, great thing about our campers is that we do have HDMI, so your radio, which is located right here, has HDMI in. You can hook up a laptop, gaming console, uh, DVD player, whatever you want plug it in there and it comes out from RCA here and connects to your television. So in addition to the uh, built-in HD antenna where you can catch about 60 channels, you have AM, FM, Bluetooth, HDMI and USB, uh, which is really great. Another thing that I really appreciate about this camper is that our uh, 2021s are now coming with an eight inch subwoofer. So these speakers sound much better than what most uh, campers come with. Here we have overhead storage as well, super deep. And Cherokees are very advanced when it comes to technology versus others. Everybody's trying to play catch up with them. This is a brain of your RV, your control panel. So let's say if we were on the beach right now, uh, we had water in the tank, we can turn this pump on and have circulating water without uh, pressurized water. We have a water heater here. Now it is propane and electric. A lot of campers are only propane. So if you run out of hot water, or rather if you run out of propane at midnight and you need hot water, if you don't have uh, propane, then you have no hot water. So with ours, it does work on electricity as well, shore power. So from the outside, there's a switch on off. If it's on off, it's on propane. If it's on on, it's on electric. And then you just turn this on to turn the heater on here. We also have uh, control for the awning lights, control for the uh, convenience light outside, monitoring where our battery's at, the fresh tank if you want to take water with you, black tank for the toilet, and gray for the sink and shower. This is also control for your awning. Now what I was saying is that with this Lipper One Control app, you can download an app and control most of your RV uh, from your phone, which is really smart, really great. Here we have the control for the thermostat. Some more affordable campers only have an electric fireplace. So if you're camping somewhere without power or going off grid, you're not gonna have heat unless you have a generator or main power, but this is our propane furnace. It kicks out a lot of heat and we'll keep this thing nice and toasty for you. Also with our campers, we do have USBs located uh, pretty well throughout the whole camper here so you can keep your devices charged. Another uh, grounded power connection there, huge window, huge window in a small camper, so it gives you a great view outside. We also have a Coleman Mach AC. It's much quieter and more dependable than other brands. Here we have controls for the airflow here so you can get it exactly where you want it. And that's gonna be it for the inside just about. Here we can step outside, I'll show you out here real quick. Now, a great thing about our Wolf Pups and really our a lot of our four server products, they've gone to the tempered glass Paragon door. Uh, also, their colors are more of the blue and gray and uh, on the inside, more of the black and uh, more neutral colors versus the brown. Uh, we've had a we've been a Cherokee dealer for a long time. We're a gold level Cherokee dealer, one of the largest dealers around, and so we're really glad to see that they've gone to the sharper look. Really catches your attention, and for security, it does have a backer. That way, uh, if anything ever happens to the outside of the door, you're still protected inside. So starting from the front, something that's really important that I think is just really brilliant 
is that they have this uh, uh, tongue jack here. Now this uses a three quarter inch bit. So if you have an impact, you can operate your leveling jacks and you can also operate this so that way you don't have to turn it by hand. So that's gonna save you probably four or $500 versus upgrading to an electric jack and it's much more dependable and uh, really uh, pretty much foolproof. Now you wanna make sure that your vehicle does have a seven way plug. Forest River Smart, they offer you a seven way holder. That way when you're set up somewhere, your seven way is not gonna get in the, the, uh, the dirt <clears throat> and the mud. So this seven way controls your lights, your brakes, uh, as long as you have a brake controller. And if you have direct line charge, charges your battery. So you do need that. This is a two inch ball, gross vehicle weight of about 4,000 pounds. Here at Cliff Jones, we will fill the propane for you. We already have the battery installed. We'll wash it, detail it, do a full systems check, have it hooked up to shore power, and sure everything works with our very experienced technicians. Here we have the front storage compartment, really great storage. Main power cord is included. That's a 30 amp power. We've got four stabilizer jacks all the way around. These steps are really awesome, much better than the old cast iron ones. And on these newer models, something that's really smart, they used to use pins, but now you just have a little lever here and that makes it very convenient. I can't tell you how many times I've operated these steps and adjusted them and you pull them in and out and you can't line up the holes and you lose the pin, but with that lever, it makes life a whole lot easier. Also, we have an extra large door handle here. Some campers just have a tiny little handle, but with this one, it's much safer, especially with the steps. You got those three different positions. We have a huge awning, pretty much the whole length of the awning. It's got blue LED lights, blue lights and the speakers. These are, these are marine grade, by the way, so you don't have to worry about it deteriorating over time. Again, this is a Wolf Pup 16FQ. Mount for the TV, upgraded wheels, super sharp looking. You have connections for power and audiovisual here. We also have the pup kitchen here as well. This only works on shore power, but this is convenient for your adult beverages, whatever you like. We also have a leash slash, so if you wanna bring your four-legged friends along, keep them tethered nearby safely. And of course, we do have the rack on the back for a generator, ice chest, bicycles, whatever you want. Ours also does include a spare tire. That is an option, believe it or not, but we do have it. Coming over here, this is a convenient light saw convenience slide I was telling you about the control from the panel so you can see your uh, connections here you got your gray on the left sink and shower black on the right your toilet stabilizer jack here 30 amp power this is a more common power supply so you don't have to worry about adapters too much exhaust for the furnace here propane furnace outside shower with hot and cold water city water connection here for pressurized water fresh water here for uh, going off grid here we have the low point drain for uh, winterization another stabilizer and the propane electric water heater Okay, y'all, this is the uh, Wolf Pup 16 FQ we have available. I did check with my manager. We will not have another one for four or five months. Cherokee is really uh, trying to optimize their production schedule. Uh, you know, what most uh, small families want is a bunkhouse. So we're very limited on the 16 FQs we have. I would love to turn your business. Let me know what I can do. As I said, my last two customers that had 16 FQs, they had to special order them, put 20% down just to order it and wait about three months. If you have any questions or concerns, give me a call or text. Thanks again.